Okay, so I just wanted to kind of go over my um, film, self-filming um, equipment just to give you guys an idea of what I'm using. Um, just because sometimes I'll be watching people who are on YouTube and I'm really curious about what they're using and they don't ever do a video about it. So even if I search through their channel, I can never find that. And sometimes I think we can just build off each other if um, we have the opportunity to learn and, um, you know, understand or whatever is being used. So basically, I'm going to start off with my original piece, which I've used a lot of cameras. I've used every single brand except for like Lumix or Luminix or whatever it is. It starts with the L. Um, but other than that, I've used Sony, Nikon, Canon, um, which are the main three to me. I think those are the main three. Anyway, so this is the Sony A7 III. I like it a lot. I can basically film um, with this lens almost into pure darkness, to be completely honest with you. As long as there's a little bit of light from the moon, I can usually make it happen. Um, which is cool for those deer that come in, you know, at least 15 minutes before shooting light is over. Um, I can film with this. So this is the 70 to 200 millimeter Canon lens actually, which initially went with my Canon, but my Canon broke. So I just got this, I believe this is the Metabones um, attachment piece so I can just attach it to my Sony. Um, I typically don't self film with this um, just because it's a lot of extra weight and I already have to carry so much stuff with me. Um, so I'll use this for pictures after or um, stuff like that. But if I'm filming for someone else, I typically bring this because it's just, uh, I can get the most use out of it. Um, the lens that came with this is, it's decent. I'm not in love with it by any means. Um, but it's similar to that where it can film pretty much into the dark. Um, it's the 28 to 70, nothing crazy special about it to me um that i've noticed um so typically i will set my um camera up on this arm it's the reach by out on a limb which there are plenty of different camera arms out there but if you are self-filming you know how much equipment and supplies you're essentially loading with you and now i'm doing more of a mobile setup with a saddle i'm literally carrying 40 to 45 pounds on my back um, with all this equipment. I really need to be carrying the lightest stuff I can considering I'm not as strong as a full grown man. And I'm also carrying my bow and just really anything extra just makes things really difficult for me. Um, so I like this a lot. Um, anyways, it's super easy to set up. I have this stuck on it 24 7 so i just wrap it up um and set it on the or set it on the tree yeah and crank it um it's pretty my ratchet's pretty quiet so that's also something i like but it's super simple setup i don't have the um whatever that's called sometimes i there's so many things that have names i forget it's a a fluid head so I don't have my fluid head on it right now but I really love this fluid head it's very awesome it's so light um, along with my tripod that's this is the lightest tripod I could find um, and that's just why I got it all the all of, a lot of tripods are really just the same price to be completely honest with you they're just like a hundred ish bucks or 50 bucks sometimes if you get like a really nice one oh, let's see if I can get this off I'm not Strong. but this fluid head is so light so it really goes perfect with my setup um i mean my arm is still strong so if i wanted to put the white lens on it which is significantly heavy i don't know if i'm gonna be able to, be able to get this off i guess um which i need to but struggles um 
all fits in my backpack really good too. Um, besides that, I mostly just carry like extra um, clothes in my backpack for cold weather or rain, um, you know, snacks for all day sits, things like that. But I'm mostly just here to talk about my camera here. Okay, I, just, I can't get that off, so it's, it's whatever. Um, for my second angle camera, which I just recently got, um, you don't necessarily need a second angle camera, but I don't have a flip screen on this one. It does not flip up, so I can't see what it's filming. I can't turn it to the side. My old camera, I could. Um, so I went and got the Sony AX53. Um, I wanted to get a little bit more distance because I can pull this off of um, my little setup. I have like a grippy arm that just wraps around any tree limb um, or I can just wrap it around my tethered um, like whatever that thing is that holds all my crap. I don't know. So many names. Sorry that I can't break down every specific for you guys. I have a lot of stuff to remember and I just can't do everything. Can't remember everything. But anyways, this is my second angle camera. It's a great camera for walking out because I can flip the screen towards myself. I'm really quick. I can talk about what's going on. Um, I usually hold it in my hand on the way out or I'll just clip it to the strap that goes right here in my backpack. If I see any animals, super simple whip it out super quick um the zoom features are super fast um overall i love it it has time lapse night um f like vision filming and a lot of other great uh features this is the camera that i would suggest to anyone beginning to self-film the ax33 is actually cheaper and then i think there's an even cheaper one down from that um but it's you know, lightweight, easy to use. Um, you can self film really easy. And then the zoom on it is so awesome. I can get a lot farther than um, any of my long distance lenses that I have for my um, DSLR. And it's, it's just really helped me get like next level footage, honestly. But um, anyways, I'm not trying to make this video too long because I just wanted to give you guys the tidbit of what exactly I'm using. Um, I do have drones. I don't use them as often because um, I don't hunt my uncle's private a ton. I just hunt it on perfect wind days. Um, and then usually if there's a before a front or whatever, I'll get in there and try to hunt it then because it's very, it's set up for rifle hunting. So it's very difficult for me to hunt. Um, the bedding is not on his property. Uh, it's just basically food source that's on his property. So I'll just, and it's, I can't really hunt mornings there because they're already in there before I go in. There's just a lot of strains and I don't want to push out the big deer that are there and feel safe there. So I hunt a lot of public and I can't really drone footage over every public piece just because of, there's literally so many rules about flying your drone. Um, anyways, um, this little tiny tripod that I got, I don't necessarily, I'll go over it really quick, but I'm not necessarily in love with the spinning ones. Um, I thought I'd give it a shot because I have always had the clippy ones and sometimes they get loose or loud because they're old, so they creak and stuff. Uh, so I just thought I would give this a shot. It's not bad. It's super, super light. I believe it's carbon. It's by Benro. I just got it at Best Buy. Um, Best Buy is a great spot for stuff that you need. Anyways, this fluid head is seriously the best. Super light. Like I said, I can't get it off right now. I need to put like a glove on so I can like grip it. But uh, so it goes with my really light setup. Um, for those of you who sometimes ask me about my camera stuff this would just be a really great way for you guys to watch this and get literally everything at once um i don't think i have anything else necessarily um this is like the little grippy thing that i attach the handy cam to i can grip it around trees or you know i can literally hook it to my backpack and just hold it and then stabilize it facing me um it is very difficult to self film with a second angle. It's a lot to do, especially if you're bow hunting. 
there's just a lot of extra factors so I don't necessarily think it's necessary because you can reenact um, drawing back and that sort of such thing um, with your one camera to begin with um, if you want that to be part of your um, you know scene or production or whatever you're doing with your self filming I love self filming because I am very forgetful and um, it helps me remember exactly where I shot the deer um, which direction she ran things like that um, or he or she I guess but um, it's really helped me a lot in that because I get so frantic in the moment or I mean excited adrenaline those feelings and I just totally forget like where she ran or even where I hit her or anything so that's been really awesome for me um anyways I think that's all I had to share with you guys but I just wanted to get that out there because a few people have asked me and I just figured that it could be helpful if you are wanting to self-film thanks for watching